Hello, 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 my beautiful Libras. How is everybody doing today? I missed you guys. I am so sorry that I'm a day late uploading y'all's video. Um, yesterday was just a busy day. I forgot I had um, a doctor's appointment for my baby girl. So, and it was just busy on top of that. So, I am so sorry, Libras. So, let's jump right into it for you guys. Let's see what your current energies are going to be this upcoming week. What do you guys need to be aware of? Ooh, Libras, what is going on? What is this about? Oh, Libras. Hmm. So it looks like somebody may have completed a cycle. I feel like somebody's trying to do better and I feel like someone is trying to keep you down, Libra. Someone does not want to see you prosper. What is going on? Let's see. I'll just make a spread like this. We'll clarify. Do we want to do it like this? Let's just do it like this. We'll clarify all of these and see what's going on here. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is this? Seven of Swords in reverse. Queen of Cups. This could be somebody you dealt with. This could be somebody you work with, Libra. Somebody has mixed emotions about you, okay? Holy Queen of Cups, please, with the Seven of Swords. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is somebody from the past. This could be a past relationship, but somebody, somebody I feel is, before I say anything, yup, yup, yup. Somebody is watching you move forward, Libra. Somebody is watching you move forward in a positive way. And I feel like somebody doesn't like it because the world came out in reverse, you're in tune with yourself spiritually. With this Hierophant, you are spiritually grounded. I thought I heard my baby girl. You are very spiritually grounded, okay? This could be um, a company that you work for. This could be a marriage, somebody you were married to. But somebody... Somebody knows that you're an empress, okay? Somebody is being very deceptive with you. Y'all, hold on one second. Let me go. go in here and check on her. Sorry about that, Libras. Okay. So, for some of you, somebody is trying to come in between a marriage or a... Um, a strong foundation. This could be because we have the Empress and the Hierophant right here. Okay. And then down here we have it's like people are spying, people are looking. See? We have the Five of Swords in reverse. I mean, not in reverse. We have the Page of Wands in reverse, the Page of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So I feel like. Somebody had to make a decision to cut away something or someone that was um, causing problems. Or someone may have uh, shedded light on a situation. Go lay down. Now. Now. And I feel like somebody does not want some sort of progress to move forward. This is a past this is somebody from the past. This is somebody that you know. I don't know if this is a friend, someone that you work with, but somebody is not happy watching you move forward. Why is this a uh, world card in reverse, please? <laughs> because somebody wants to bring conflict. What did I just say, you guys? The five of wands and the two of cups in reverse. Because somebody wants to bring conflict in somebody's relationship. Somebody's just being petty for no reason. Someone's just being downright petty. 
Petty Betty. Why? And for what? Who is this? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this? Could be dealing with the, um... You guys could have a letter coming in. We have the Six of Wands, okay? Whatever this is, you guys are going to have victory over this situation. I feel like... You guys know who this is. You guys know exactly who this is. Uh-huh. Yeah, you do. You sure do. Why is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse for my Libras? This is divine timing. This is... If, if it seems like you've hit a period where things just may not be going the way you want them to be going, it's because you're having to walk away. Somebody's having to walk away from something. This doesn't always mean relationships, you guys. This could be a friendship. This could be a job. This is something that is not serving your higher purpose. Whatever this is, if this is a job, if this is a relationship, if this is a friendship, you guys put the energies where they resonate. Somebody is bringing conflict. In regards to something that was stable, a solid foundation, something that you worked hard to stabilize and ground from the root up. And I feel like somebody else that is jealous because they don't have what you have, y'all. And I remember we did a read like this. Your last read was like this or the one before that. Anyway, you guys are walking away. Because mm -hmm. you got other options with the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck you got other options you don't need whoever this is that's causing you this this delay you don't need this negative energy in your space which is exactly why you guys are moving forward uh-huh and you're gonna be holding on somebody's gonna be what is this what is this Eight of Wands is forward movement, and the Four of Pentacles, somebody could have um, holding on to um, somebody was holding on to a uh, I'm sorry, I can't get it out, you guys. Uh, something from a long time ago. Something that happened in the past, because the Six of Cups is over here. Whatever this person's issue is with you, this is something that they held a grudge. Somebody's holding a grudge. Thank you. That's what I was trying to get out. I feel like somebody's holding a grudge. This is four pentacles, please. And you're going to have to cut. Yeah, what did I just say, you guys? Look at these two queens back to back. The Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Two queens. They got their backs turned, their heads turned. This is somebody you are not speaking to. The two of you are walking away from each other with this Eight of Cups. Like, this is someone or this is somebody specifically that you're not speaking to. Because somebody's holding a grudge. You could be into it one of your friends. I don't know. What are these queens? Strong. Both of these queens are strong. I feel like what you and this person, one of you is nurturing, okay? One of you are domineering. One of you are very business-oriented. The other one is very bitter. Just because the Queen of Swords is here, I don't feel like that's your energy, though. I mean, it could be. But I feel like one of you have... Uh, I feel like one of you have this... Uh, you're just, like, bitter. The other one may be bitter, like, if you share some good news with this person and they um, they just kind of smack their lips or just whatever their response is, it just doesn't sit well with you. Like, because this person is bitter is what I'm getting. Cold, hard, demanding, authority. Like, I feel like this person just wants things their way, how they want them. Like, they don't care about how you see things. But I feel like... Someone's going to be agreeing to disagree. Go lay down. Somebody is needing to find their inner strength in regards to dealing with this other person. Because the strength card came out. 
Whatever this situation is, it's bothering you. It's bothering you or it's bothering this person. What is this not of uh, wands in reverse, please? So this is you getting clarity about whatever this was. Whatever this was, you got clarity about it. Something came out. You guys found out and it put you in a state of... Uh, in a funk, kind of, so to speak. Undecided, need to take a step out of the situation so you can see more clearly. But I feel like for some of you, this, this totally blindsided you, okay? I feel like some of you, this blindsided you. It did. What is this Ace of Swords, please? But you guys will have a victory. Yep. What did I just say? This is your victory. As I said, you guys will have a victory. Look at what came out. The friggin' Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. Yes, buddy. Yes, buddy. That's all she wrote. What's this Nine of Wands in reverse, please? And then we're going to go ahead and close this out, y'all. What's this Nine of Wands in reverse? I'm going to get y'all some angel oracles that I just got in yesterday. What's this Nine of Wands in reverse for my beautiful Libras? That's you. I feel like this is you realizing that you have to go into hermit mode. You cannot depend on... You, you know that you are having to take a step back to reobserve the situation. Just like this, what did this just say? What did we just say, you guys? Needing to take a step back so you can see things more clearly, okay? That's what you're doing. You're going into hermit mode so you can clearly observe this situation. What did I miss? So this doesn't happen to me again. That's why you're doing this. You're going back and you're thinking about what you what you did in the past, what you didn't see, the connecting the dots. Basically, so this does not happen again. So you can learn from your lesson. And then what are you guys sitting on? Pretty money. You going to be balling. <laughs> no, for real though, the Ace of Pentacles, that's money coming in, you guys. That's a divine wish being granted, my lovelies. Oh, and the death card was at the uh, bottom of the deck too. That's a uh, death of a situation. Toxic of uh, old skins. Making room for new beginnings. Yeah, boy. All right, Libras. So I'm about to get you guys some of these oracles. Let me shuffle these. In. What are this? Hold on. What's this? The Emperor. The Tower. I already took you out for a walk. I just seen one flipped around. Stability or stabilizing influence coming in coming into your life so if things are kind of rocky right now i feel like things are going to be grounding themselves out yeah whatever whatever this was you're going to heal from it quick the three of swords came out in reverse you're going to heal you're going to bounce back from this quick I, the only thing is is i just don't feel like you were expecting it because the tower is here i don't feel like you were expecting it okay thank you holy spirit holy angels Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, so what angel messages do you have for my beautiful Libras today? Let me get one more, please. Or two more. That's cool, too. With dreams at the bottom. Some of you could be, um, some of you are uh, star seeds, and some of you can see things in your dreams, like your spirit guides, they communicate with you while you sleep, okay? Compassion. Archangel. Zad Kiel. I hope I pronounced that right. Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Forgiveness is being needed here, okay? Somebody is needing to be understanding emotionally because you remember when I said I feel like this other person was cold and bitter? Like, I feel like you're just a, you're a warm heart of sunshine and this person does not understand that. Someone is not understanding somebody's um, abundance, I feel. Like... Somebody wants it, but they just don't know how to get there, okay? And that's what I'm getting with this compassion. Have compassion. If this is you or the, if this is the other person, whichever side you're on, have compassion for that other person because they, um, let me read you guys this. 
Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. I feel like you guys are being hard on yourself, too. A lot of you are like, what did I do that could have prevented this? Or is there something I could have done that could have prevented this? Um, you guys, when I start channeling stuff, that's when I get to talking real quick. But I don't want to forget what I'm thinking. Um... Go back to your inner light. You see how she's holding this ball of light? Go back to a place of mind where you're comfortable. And then I want you to pray for this person. Pray for this situation. Whatever is going on, ask for help. There's something that's being illuminated. Because here's the moon cycle. The moon archangel came out. Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations. And capitalize upon these cycles. You guys... Pay attention. Pay attention to the universe. Pay attention to uh, signs, synchronicities. Pay attention. I told I told you, I believe some of you are being um, spoken to in your dreams. You, They can communicate with you, your spirit guides, okay? You are needing to pay attention. And then we have, you are safe. Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones at home. What did I tell you guys? Somebody has a ton of negative energies. It's just, it could be a lot of conflict going on behind your back that you don't even know about, Libra. You're just here. But you're being protected and you may not even know it. Okay? So... What advice do you have for my Libras, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do you have? What advice do you have? That's too much. That's a lot of advice. You guys could be seeking some sort of answer for something. It's like you're looking for, someone could still be looking for some sort of clarity to something that they may not understand. And Spirit is saying that answer is, uh, it resides within yourself, okay? This is something that is going to have to be between you and God, you and Spirit. You're not going to be able to go and talk to somebody about this one, okay? And that's what I'm getting. All right, you guys, the seeds of Mintaka, seeing potential. Bringing unconsciousness to light. So, you guys are growing. Some of you uh, may know how big your potential is. Some of you may not. But what I'm seeing here is that some of you do not understand how huge your potential is. Because look, it goes from the sea right here, right? All the way up into the galaxy. We have the sea and the ocean here. And it goes from the sea and the ocean to the galaxy. Some of you do not even, and both, what, what do both have in common? Thank you, Spirit. What does the sea and the galaxy have in common, Libras? They are both unlimited. Like, nobody has ever reached the bottom of the ocean or as far as you can go in the sky. That is your potential that your spirit guides are wanting you to grow. The sky is not the limit. It's not. There is more potential needed to be had and, and seen here but you're gonna have to ask for help and you're gonna have to notice what your triggers are along the way and learn from what you've been through so you can use those those are your tools everything that you've learned along the way are your tools weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry see a lot of you are carrying a lot of problems that do not belong to you let it go. Let it go, Libras. Let it go. This is your girl, Devon Femme. If this video resonated, please feel free to give me a big thumbs up. Sharing is caring. If you have not yet subscribed, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell down below so you guys can get notified for all my new content that I uploaded. You guys remember to be someone's blessing and not their problem. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.